into this 10 minutes of foam rolling for your back. Everything that we're gonna be working on today is specifically designed to help you loosen up your back, to release some of that tension that might be building up from exercise, but also just from sitting. So you are going to need some version of a foam roller. You're gonna need a larger ball. It could also be a softball or a Pilates ball. And you are going to need a smaller ball. It could be a baseball, a lacrosse ball, or a pinky ball. Um, something larger than this will be too large though. You could also use a golf ball, although it will not work as well. So the first thing we're going to do is start with our foam roller right behind our low back. We're going to lean back onto it and pick a side. I'm gonna turn away from you for right now so that you can see I'm not on my spine. I have my left elbow down and I'm just rolling from the top of my glute to where my ribs start. So it's just in those lower lumbars that I'm rolling. And you may find that you have one spot in particular that's a little sensitive. And that's typically where your psoas and your QL or your quadris lumborum connect. Those are the muscles that get most irritated by all of our sitting and also what causes 80% of low back pain. So often by releasing this, we can minimize our low back pain. So we're gonna be here for about 15 more seconds. So we're not moving that fast, good. And then switch to the other side. So again, you're not on your spine, you're not going over any bones, you're not running over your ribs either. side again is you notice some of those spots that maybe were a little tense or tight or even painful will be less so now because you've had enough time to send that message. Good. About five seconds. Awesome. All right. So now let's go to the mid back. This one usually feels great for anybody who spends way too much time at their computer. So you're going to lean back on your roller. You're going to put it right below the shoulder blades or where your bra line is. If you have long hair or a hoodie, I suggest pulling it up because it will get caught underneath the roller. Go ahead and support your head with your hands, lift your hips up, and roll towards your neck, dropping your head down, and then kind of crunching forward as you get back to that bra line. Nice wide elbows. Just breathing. about 15 more seconds here and remember if we're not doing enough time in any one area you need a little bit more time you can always go back you can either replay this video or go back and do a little more anyone on your own for three two one awesome all right so now let's go ahead and we're going to grab the small ball what you're going to do is you're going to lay down on your back, but first I'm going to show you. So your spine runs right through the center, and you're going to put this ball right to the right for this time or the left of your spine. We're going to put weight into it. So just so you know, because it can be a little hard to see from there, I'm going to lift my body up. I'm going to place this ball right to the right of my spine and right above the top of my glutes. All right, you'll notice there's like a soft, muscly part there. There's no bone. I'm gonna allow all my weight to sink down into it. And from there, I'm going to now shift my weight over to the left, and you'll see my ball is rolling out to the right. I'll come back to center and shift again. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull that muscle away from the spine. 
I'm trying to pull these little muscles called multifidi that sometimes get adhered to the spine and they limit our range of motion. So once you've done anywhere between three, five, or six rolls at one vertebrae, go ahead and move it up just a little bit. And again, like we did with the rolling, we're only gonna go till we get to our low ribs. But make sure you really sink into it each time. Really pull that muscle away. getting back to that area that was a little sensitive earlier that I was mentioning with the QL and the psoas insert and that's okay it's one of those hurt so good kind of things where you're gonna want to try and get a little bit of discomfort as you roll it out good and you might have enough space I know I do to go up just one more time This whole time I'm keeping my glutes up off the ground. Awesome. All right, let's switch to the other side. So starting down on the bottom, lowest part of our um, vertebrae and the top of our glutes, our spinal column, and roll. Not uncommon for one side to be more sensitive than the other. We have all kinds of different compensation patterns happening in our bodies that we don't even realize. Good, and again, moving it up when you feel like you've done anywhere between three and six passes. Sinking in each time. And there's kind of a soft pocket there right inside of it we are going to lay on our ball right inside the hip it is not on the bone just like before we're only in the soft spot so my bone is hanging over the side here and all I'm gonna do is lay down and you can have your uh, feet flat I like to sometimes turn mine out my knee out because it allows me to get into my psoas a little bit more. Your psoas is a muscle that connects from the front of your pelvis into your low back. And it gets really, really irritated by all the sitting we do. And then when we stand up, it pulls and stretches back out and causes low back pain. So it's the one that usually is irritated if you've ever gone to pick something up and stood up and said, ah, oh, it pulled out my back throwing my back out. This is usually the culprit and it's usually because it's getting so cramped and cramped and cramped and we're not doing the release work. This is the easiest place for us to get to it to do the release work. We'll be here for about 15 more seconds and then we'll switch to the other side. Now if you found yourself because it's sensitive, not on the ball, you've shifted your weight, make sure you re-put your pelvis and weight right on top of that. And good, let's switch to the other side. So right inside that hip bone. Just relaxing. You're here for about a minute and 20 seconds.
Now most people will notice that just from doing these few minutes of rolling that they'll have increased range of motion, they'll notice that they have less back pain and stiffness, that they're able to reach for their toes when they couldn't before. I highly encourage, if you did nothing more than one or two rollings every day, I highly encourage you to lay on the ball for your psoas and to use a small ball to roll out your multifidae, especially if you're someone who spends a lot of time with it. You have about 25 seconds. Now, if we had more time, we'd actually go through all of these a second time. So if you have the time, I highly encourage you to just hit replay, do this again, or at a very minimum, do the psoas one again, hold it for 90 seconds on each side, really relax down into it. One more deep breath here. Let it all out. Good, go ahead and remove that ball. Press yourself up. Maybe do a couple cat cows. Notice how much more mobility you now have. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick 10 minutes of rolling focus on our back. I hope that that gives you some relief, a little bit more mobility, and that you have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys all